Hey guys, it's Joni from SimpleLivingMama.com and today I want to share with you some of our um, arthropods unit study resources. So I'm going to show the things that we have been using with our arthropods unit. We, um, we are using the Good and the Beautiful's arthropods which is a study of insects, spiders, and crustaceans and I've also added a few other things that I wanted to show you. So I'm going to flip the camera around and go ahead and show you guys. So here's a look at my um, little setup I've got going on over here for our insect study. This is actually um, a butterflies poster. It came from an Etsy shop called Twig and Moth. And I also have the Beatles poster. I just don't have it framed yet. And this came from Twig and Moth as well. Um, there is a special bundle where you can get a free printable of that poster going on right now. So I'll have the link for that if you want to get in on the um, homeschooling bundle and get a get a Beatles poster for your own insect unit. Of course I have our arthropod unit study here and I just pull this out. We do it about once or twice a week. Super easy. Um, this is a really neat 3D ant puzzle. It's a wooden and it's kind of broken a little bit. But they have these at the Target Dollar Spot right now. Several different kinds. There's like a butterfly and a grasshopper. Just several different things going on. And um, they're pretty fun to put together. And if you glue them, they're less likely to fall apart. And the baby has a, this is a little bug collector. And we had our carpenter be in here and it has a magnifying glass on top. So you can really get a good look at the different um, insects that you collect. Right now I only have one of these guys out, but my son has a ton of these um, plastic insects and they like to scare me with them. But it's just a fun little thing to have out and let the kids play with. And then, of course, I add in tons and tons and tons of books. I get a lot of my books from thriftbooks.com. Um, that's where I found this one. And it's pretty interesting. Um, just lots of fun information and bright, beautiful pictures. So I have the DK I Wonder Bugs book. This is an Usborne Young Beginners Bug book. This is just a fun little storybook called Insects Do the Strangest Things. And it has chapters about all kinds of different insects. Which bug uses a torch? This is a fun one. I think I found this one at a library sale. So all kinds of fun facts about bugs. have another Usborne book. This one has been well loved. It's called 1001 Bugs to Spot. So that one is super, super cute and fun for kids that like to play those I Spy games. This book is just absolutely gorgeous. It's the big book of bugs. It has gorgeous illustrations. So here's a look at what's inside of that. Okay, and then this is a cute storybook. My kids have had me read this one several times. It's called Daddy Long Legs at Birch Lane. It's just a really cute story about the daddy long legs, and I learned a lot of information just from that story myself. Um, I also really suggest these Christian Liberty Nature Readers. This is book two. I have book one and book two. Book one is actually supposed to be read with the level one language arts by the Good and the Beautiful. Um, these can be kind of tricky to find. I got both of mine from thrift books, so if you can keep an eye out, I only paid like five, six dollars for each one. And then finally, um, 
I have my butterfly garden here. We will be ordering caterpillars. We've done this before, which is why I have this already. But um, I will be ordering another set from Insect Lore. They also have an ant farm, which I'm not entirely sure that we're going to be doing the ant farm this year. But um, we are definitely going to be doing the butterfly garden. So that was just a really quick rundown of the different resources that we're going to be using and that we have used with the arthropods unit with the Good and the Beautiful. They would work for any insect unit study that you may be doing in your homeschool. Um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, like us, and subscribe to our channel. We post homemaking and homeschooling videos, and I will talk to you later. Bye.